and as a wasp was trying to get in go away hey guys welcome to welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing amazing and i hope you're feeling a lot better than me right now i think i've got a cold well i know i've got a cold it's ugh not the best i feel very bunged up but i thought you know what i'm gonna put on a load of makeup and make myself feel less sorry for myself <laughs> if that even makes sense I promise it's not covid i've done a test i'm good i kid you not there's been so many wasps that have been trying to get into the house every time i open a bloody window one just wants to flip in fly in and buzz around everywhere anyways so today i thought i'd do because you know we're in the month of September. I thought I'd do a really nice green autumnal makeup look. I'm thinking a glittery halo eye, something big, something bold, something fab. So I've already gone ahead and moisturised my skin and I've been using something new recently. I'll show you it right now. So I've been using this. So this is the Nivea Moisturising Day Cream and this is for dry and sensitive skin and this has got SPF 15 in. This has been amazing. When my skin's been feeling so, so, so dry, this has literally brought life back to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sort out my eyebrows. You know the drill, same thing as usual. I've got my vitamin E hydrating mist from Superdrug and I just spray that onto my bar of soap. And I use my spoolie and just brush my eyebrow hairs up. I really want to try a new soap brow product, but I'm really unsure on which one to go for. I'm umming and ah in between the Pink Honey Soap Brows or the P. Louise Brow Balm. I'm really not sure which one to go for. If any of you have tried either one of them and you prefer one to the other, then please let me know down below because I really want to try out some new soap brow products. I've heard amazing things about the pink honey soap brow so I probably am gonna go for that one but I don't know just let me know what you think also just thought I'd point out I am in my soon-to-be makeup room again so the infamous green camping chair is back as you can see there is going into the landings because I currently don't have a door yeah don't worry i'm gonna do a full transformation of my makeup studio which i honestly can't bloody wait for but yeah keep your eyes peeled for that because that is definitely going to be coming and i tell you what it's gonna be amazing so i'm now gonna go in with an eyeshadow base and obviously as usual i'm gonna be using the p louise base and this time i'm gonna be using base shade two because i don't have any tan on oh yeah i just realized my nails are gone. I don't have any tan. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So I'm going to be using base shade 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carve underneath my brows. And then just fill it in all over my lid. So now I've got the base all on my eyelids. And now I'm just going to take a fluffier brush. And just pat that all down. No joke. I nearly just dropped my camera. I just shuffled my chair and I had to like quickly go out and grab my camera because I nearly fell on the floor. <sighs> oh my God. So the palette that I'm going to be using today is this. So this is the Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette and this is the Stacey Marie collab. I'm pretty sure I've tried the majority of the colours in here but I haven't dipped into the greens yet so we're going to be doing that so the first shade i'm going to be going into is this one here which is the darkest green in the palette and that is called forest and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pat the color on here and here just because i want to do a halo eye i want to leave this bit in the center clear of any product just that when i put the glitter on it's going to make it pop a lot more this green is such a lovely deep green. It's oh, stunning. I think what I might do as well is I think I'm going to wing it out a bit. Yeah, so I'm going to take this colour and just start to wing it out. So I'm now going to go in with a completely clean blending brush and just lightly blend out those 
edges. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is this one here, which is just a lighter green. And that's in the shade, what's it called? Bamboo. And what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to buff out the edges with that colour. So I'm just going to take that colour and just blend just 50-50 onto that other colour. And what I'm going to do with this colour is I'm also going to take it over the top just because it's the lighter shade. I'm just going to go over where we're going to put that halo ever so slightly. So I'm now going to go in with that clean blending brush and just buff out the edges. This is one of those looks where it is 100% definitely trust the process. And this is also one of those looks where you have to keep going in and do the reverse blending technique just so you can build up your colours again and get them nice and entranced. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with the darker shade and just build that up, then blend it into the lighter green shade. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I've got it nice and intense. Okay, so now I've got all the shades as intense as I want them to be. I'm now going to go in with a yellow shade just to add a little bit of pizzazz. So I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called yellow, funnily enough. And taking a big fluffy blending brush, I'm literally ever so lightly going to buff. 50-50 and just around the edges of that look. I don't know if you can see there where I've just put the yellow. It just makes it look so much nicer. The one thing that I really struggled with at first with makeup is being light-handed because I am a very heavy-handed person, as my mum says. Apparently, I'm the one that's break all the friggin' cupboards in the house because i'm just so heavy-handed yeah you really do you just have to be very light with these types of looks so i'm now just gonna go back in with that clean blending brush and just go over everything and just make sure it's all nice and blended out so now I've got that all blended out how I want it to, I'm now going to add the sparkle. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called Vanilla, and put that in the middle. I think that's going to look quite nice. Honestly, this shade Vanilla in the inner corner it is amazing. I always, always, always use that in my inner corner. It's just, oh, it's beautiful. So using a flat top brush, I'm just going to get that shade vanilla and just start packing it on the middle of my eye and see, see what that looks like. Oh, see what I mean? Like, is that, is that not just oh, such a nice, shade oh my beautiful it's absolutely beautiful i love it so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go in with that the brush i use with the dark green shade and just ever so slightly buff it out so what i'm gonna do is i'm now gonna do underneath my eye and i'm gonna use like the same colors so i'm gonna start off with the darker shade and i'm still gonna leave the middle because i'm gonna put that vanilla shade in the middle of my eye here but i'm just gonna go in with the darker shade buff it out with the lighter green shade and then ever so slightly buff it out with the yellow shade and then put the vanilla in the middle is anyone else just so excited that it's autumn like oh i love autumn so so much i think I, I just love autumn fashion as well like i feel like it's just so much more wearable and i'm such i'm such a hot person i get so sweaty so personally i'm quite glad that it's autumn <laughs> pumpkin spice lattes are back in business i just love them so much i don't know i think i prefer the frappuccinos though over the hot lattes but oh, i do love the hot lattes the pumpkin spice but if you haven't tried it please go and try them okay so i'm pretty sure i'm done with this eye for now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go off camera do the other eye and i will be right back sip on some ribena to 
fuel my soul. So now the eyes are all done. So this is what we're looking at so far. Lovely. It's very bold, but you know, go big or go home. So the next thing I'm gonna move on to is my base. So the foundation I'm gonna be using today is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, and this is in the shade Vanilla. I love this foundation. I use it all the time. It is so gorgeous. I'm literally just going to blend that out. So I'm now gonna go in with concealer, and the concealer that I'm gonna use is the Revolution Conceal and Define. Again, an amazing product. It's such a nice concealer. And the shade that I've got is C4. This is another amazing drugstore product. So I'm now gonna go ahead and cream contour my face because I'm looking very much like a potato, as per. So I'm gonna be using the Laritzi Cosmetics Contour Stick. And this is in the shade Aloha. I found this, right, through a glossy box, and I absolutely love this. I feel like it blends so nicely, and yeah, it's just such a nice product. So what I like to do with this is I just grab my Peaches makeup brush, and then I just put it onto the contour stick, and then just start to blend it out. But yeah, definitely a hidden gem. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this on my forehead as well because no joke i literally have a forehead the size of a planet so i'm now gonna go ahead and powder my face so i'm gonna be using the maybelline fit me matte and poreless and this is in the shade 105 natural ivory now i only bought this last week i think it was and i bloody love it i think for a drugstore powder it's flipping fantastic. Like I don't really get oily skin, so I'm not sure how well this is with oily skin, but in terms of just blurring everything out and making everything just look flawless and setted, it bloody does the trick. I'm now gonna go ahead and bronze my skin and I'm gonna be using the Beauty Bay bronzers these are amazing such hidden gems and i don't understand why more people don't speak about these i first found out about these through rebecca capel makeup and honestly they're so nice i use the shade fawn when i'm pale <laughs> and then i use the shade beach when i'm more tanned and these are only six pounds and I swear sometimes Beauty Bay have a sale on, you can get these for like three quid. So I'm just gonna add a bit of blush to my cheeks and I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution blush palette. Again, this is such a nice drugstore blush palette. This is the sugar and spice one. All these shades are beautiful. So the shade that I'm gonna be using today is this one here. It's like a nice corally shade. And I'm just going to blend that in. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows and I'm going to be using, no not this, that's what I just used. Mm. So I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution and this is very much loved brow palette and I'm going to be using this shade here and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows and make them look a lot more thicker. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some highlight. So I'm going to be using the wrong way the doll beauty highlight palette and i think the shade that i'm going to go in with today is i'm going to go in with this one here which is champagne and honestly i know i've been saying this about everything in this tutorial but it just it just goes to show you just need everything you just need everything that i'm using today you need it because it's literally amazing these highlights are something else like look at that bloody beautiful so i'm just gonna go ahead and set my face and i'm gonna be using the iconic london prep set glow spray this is so lovely this is in the shade original and this just melts everything together and makes everything look so delicious this is really nice on the chest as well if you just 
if you're wanting a bit of chest out on your night out, spray some of this on your chest you're good to go. The only thing with that spray is don't use a lot of it because you will look like a disco ball. <laughs> a little bit definitely goes a long way. Just a few spritz on your face and yeah, you're good to go. Oh, I can't get over that shine. Like those highlights are just blinding. They're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it just speaks for itself really, doesn't it? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes. I'm just going to be using the Sheen lashes that I've got from a Wheeler Lashes that I bought from them a while ago. They're literally £5 or something like that. You're £5 or £6 and you get 10 pairs of lashes. And I got two packs and they've lasted me forever. But I will link them down below. So I'm just going to stick them on and I will be right back. I love the lashes on because it just makes the whole look look so much better. <laughs> so I'm just going to line my lips using the Morphe liner and this is in the shade Spiffy. This is such a nice nude liner. If you haven't tried the Morphe liners then you definitely need to. These are, I think, I swear they're like $4.99. The one shade that I'm really wanting to try is Sweet Tea but it's always sold out which is so annoying so i'm now going to add some lipstick i'm going to use in the doll beauty say la vie and standard hot on, on my lips so i'm gonna add a bit of gloss because i feel like that is definitely what this look is needed and to be honest i don't really ever not wear gloss anymore so i'm just using morphe boho lip gloss that's just such a stunning gloss. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to put a bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Right guys, that is it. You've made it to the end of the tutorial. Well done if you stuck around till the end and thank you so much, I really appreciate it. So here is the finished look. So I do have a discount code for you guys that you can use on Look Fantastic and that will give you 20% off some of the products that I've used in this tutorial. So the discount code is LFTFJESSH. MUA. I'll leave it down below but I'll also put it on the screen here and like I said that will give you 20% off certain products that I've used in this tutorial but I will link everything down below so you can go ahead shop to your heart's content and get all these lovely juicy products. I absolutely love this so much so 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 much so as always i will link all my socials down below you can follow me on instagram at makeup by jess harris you can follow me on facebook if you want tiktok the whole lot i'll link it all down below instagram is where i'm most active so yeah i really appreciate it if you wanted to go and Follow me on there so you can keep all up to date on everything that I am doing. As always, thank you so, so, so much for sitting with me today. I really hope you enjoyed me doing this look. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.